Bueno, nos encontramos acá con tres de los músicos que están haciendo un nuevo show, eh, lo están presentando, lo van a presentar, están practicando en este momento. Eh, dos de ellos han sido miembros de la banda de Dio y uno fue el cantante de, de, de Judas y bueno, su banda propia. Está Craig, está Owen y está Simón. ¿Cómo estás, Simón? Good, feeling good, yeah, everything's Simon. going well. You mean Simon, yeah, yeah. I'm I know, right. in Spanish, <laughs> I gotta say in Spanish, Owen. I, I yeah. actually call, I actually call him Ramon. Ramon. Only on That's Tuesdays. totally different, different. I like Simone, though. I like that. It's I kind of a sexy. Oh, it's weird. Kind of, that's what you Ramon? Like that's, that? the, well, that's kind of the dress. The dr Reaper. The dressed up Simon. Dressed up, yes. Dressed up as what, though? That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Cry. <laughs> How, How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, thanks. So, tell me what is the, uh, the, the, the idea to play together? Well, well this is a this is a yeah. celebration. I yeah. mean, it's a celebration of Ronnie James Dio. Uh, uh, there's no no one more qualified to do it than these fellows right here. First off, and, and you know what? We wanted to go out. They wanted to go out, and luckily they they got me involved with this to celebrate Ronnie. Ha, you know, live. Ronnie's music's going to live forever. He's he's the best singer ever. Everybody knows that. But live, we just want to go out and have people sing and enjoy the live concerts and sing along with us. And it's like a celebration of his is. music, and we want to honor him and carry on this. We we can't really let this go. We have to. It's what something I think he would have wanted us uh, to do and carry on and uh, you know honor him and let his fans enjoy the songs and the show. That's right. And it's all about the fans. That's right. And it's a way to reunite his music with his fans you know because they also like I said before when a family member passes away yeah. they don't just forget about them no. even just a regular family you know especially when an important member of the family passes away they always try to do something special to remember them by same thing with armed forces or anything like that there's always something that they do and so Ronnie was family to us and so we lost the most important member of our family And we're not going to just sit around and do nothing. You know, we want to do something that, because of the fact of how important he was to us and how important he was to the fans, I don't think the fans really realize just how important they were to him. Yeah. Some fans actually designed their vacation around D.O. tours. Yeah. And then Ronnie would actually have them ride on the tour bus with us. That's how special they were. Well, I was one of them, so, yeah, I can tell. So Totally. I was surprised when he said, hey, hey, come over, you know, like, oh, okay. I'm not gonna say no. It was very important to Ronnie, and it's and it's 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 just as important to us. This is about the fans and stuff. You know, we want to keep the music going. You know, we did interviews Except yesterday, and what was great is is we heard stories, same stories I hear from these guys. We heard from from the people interviewing us, from the photographer who afterwards Ronnie carried his equipment out of the uh, yeah, the right. room. You know, yeah, yeah. so that was the last interview we did with Ronnie, yeah. and he said the last time I did it, he after we were done, he helped me. He he grabbed my equipment and carried it out for me to the car. So. And that's that was Ronnie, you know. What does it mean for you to feel in some way the shoes of Ronnie? I mean, you are playing with half of the band at least. Well, I mean, you know, it's this is a whole different experience. I've I've filled somebody's shoes before, and that was Halford. And this isn't really filling somebody's shoes because I'm so different. This is a, a like like we said a celebration. So it's not like you know. Listen, I'm going to go sing it. I'm a different singer. Toby's a different singer. We're there to celebrate and sing. And have the people sing with us. We're not there to to be Ronnie James Dio or replace Ronnie James Dio. That's right. Uh, so there, it's a lot different. You know, obviously nobody can replace him. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, and, and no one's going to sing like him because he was yeah. the, he was the best. So that's that's the whole point of, of no clones, no nobody coming that tries to be Ronnie James Dio. This is this is something different. So I I actually don't feel anything like that. I feel some pressure because I want to sing good, but I think we're always like that. All of us yeah, going yeah, on stage, absolutely. we want to do good, but I don't feel that pressure because I'm somebody different you know right but he is he was great i mean it's so um, it's so amazing every day to hear these songs just go oh wow how came to uh bring to the band toby he's he was in in uk right yeah he's from england yeah, yeah. he's from scarborough in england yeah okay. originally yeah how, how happened to to bring him to the on board uh well we 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 got our agent su suggested him and we heard him and we thought yeah this might this might be good you know and when the two when tim and toby you know start doing a lot of the, some of the songs they kind of work off each other and do harmonies and sing parts and stuff like that they sound really really good together yeah. he's a, he's a great singer he's yeah, really he you know yeah. what's great is to, is toby and i are so different 
vocally, and it's so perfect to do these songs. And he's a he's a very very talented musician yeah. and, and very talented singer and a great guy as yeah. well. So yeah, it's kind of nice. To, and good Simon luck. actually said, "Listen, we have to have an English guy." <laughs> no, I didn't. You know, I, I said only one English guy, yeah. and then they brought another one. No, but it, you know, he it's it's a great combination, yeah, and he's good. just a, a, yeah. an amazing singer. So I'm so glad they got him. Yeah. How many songs are they gonna play when you show? Oh, I think it's how many is it? Tw th 14? Oh, it's no. gonna be something like that. I think we got like 17 14. now. 16. Yeah. We're kind of me and Craig kind of talked about us, you know, not doing, you know, because I used we used to do I used to do drum solo, and Craig would yeah. do a guitar big guitar solo, big drum solo thing, but we thought it would be better if we didn't do that. We'll do more of the songs, and that way more other songs get heard, and it's it's more people get to hear more songs, you know, so... Um It's a great, it's a great yeah, set list. It's, it's a great, good. you know, and, and we're, you know, we we try something. We we move songs around. We we bring one in one rehearsal. We we try another one in the next rehearsal. So we're really trying to make sure it's just, a, and it's a hard task to to pick a set list of Ronnie James. We, we can count. It's just that we haven't numbered the songs. Right. We just went according to time because we knew that we had at least an hour and a half for some concerts, an hour for other concerts, and a half an hour. I think it started at 14. <laughs> a 17. Is it, is it? Then it went down to 14, and then I think it's gone, I think it keeps teetering like, yeah, okay, let's go down, no, so, yeah. we got to add this one in. Yeah. Right? Well, what, what we're doing is we have to do those, we have to do those special songs like Heaven and Hell, Holy Diver, We Rock, Rainbow in the Dark, we have to do those. We've always done those. Um, Does any song you never play with Ronnie? Not at the moment. We're just kind of getting the wheels going here. So we, it's uh, I Speed at Night's in there. That hasn't been done for a while. Uh, Catch the Rainbow is, is in there as well. But we're just getting organized here. We're, as, as we progress, we're going to throw in some curveballs, some very special songs that have either been done, but they were done a long time ago, or songs that have never been done before. So... You know, we're trying to think of the fans all the time, you know, what they want and stuff, so... Any idea to play overseas or just in the U.S.? Well, right now we're oh, starting we're, overseas. Yeah. We're starting in, in, in Europe. You know, the festivals are in the summertime, so it made sense for us to start there. I think we're, we're really just trying to go one step at a time. We're all looking forward to going to South America. Yeah, we're that's looking, that I was trying to... We're looking forward to playing America as well. That We're still trying to, to work on an American tour in September. But, I mean, all of us, I, you know, we talked earlier, I love playing South America, and it yeah. seems like it's my second awesome. home now. I, <laughs> I go there, I think I've played about 50 shows in the past two years there. We've been there a lot as well. It's great. So it's, now, it's great. Yeah. we were talking we'll We were that. talking earlier Yeah, that we couldn't wait to go to South America. Yeah, so. yeah. But at, at, at the moment, we're starting in, we start in Europe. We're actually starting... Russia on uh, on uh, uh, what is it? Eight? Russia? Yeah, in Russia, okay. and we go through Finland. Then we start in England. We play at Download. Um, then we do a British part leg of the tour. Then I think we've got a, a string of German dates, um, Switzerland, and we end up uh, in, in Spain. But this is just the start, you know. Mm -hmm. And hopefully in September we'll have all gonna a, a, a U.S. tour. So you start in, in Russia because the the girls. <laughs> of course. Yeah. You know, Russia and Finland, it's like easy. Exactly. You everywhere you go, oh, everywhere you go, they say that. If I go to South America, they say, best women around. Yeah. Then you go to oh, Poland, yeah. they'll say the best women around. Right. You know what? Everywhere you go. They're all good. Isn't Where are the best women for you? Well, what country? What country? Yeah. You gotta say name one. <laughs> well, the only thing is, 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 is this was never ever about women. No, right? <laughs> No, it was just about the creativity. <laughs> I don't believe it. The creativity and the music. Yeah. No, it's really seriously. No, I, yeah. We run some of the cleanest backstage areas, uh, I think, ever in, in heavy metal music. In fact, one time I But came in. But we have the best-looking cleaning ladies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get it? Ta -da, ta -da. I heard. They clean sure. up real well. No, we came into a biker fest once, and the biker sent in naked girls backstage. And uh, why you didn't even call me? I had them kicked out. Yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. but I had him brought back in again, so it was all right. <laughs> Kicked out, you brought him back. Yeah, yeah. And Ronnie goes, Goldie, you're the only person I know that can get naked women thrown out of a rock concert. And he goes, nice one. Because <laughs> we don't want that kind of a reputation. That's not what it was about, you know. Okay. Of course, you know, guys are going to love women. Yeah. You know, but that's not, that's not the, the, not the motivation. You. No, it's not the motivation. Never was. No, I think it, I'm it, joking. I don't know. know you, but I no, want people like, to know for the record. <laughs> no, because we are it's trying. It's a perk. It's a perk. Yeah. Just, you know, if we are going to 
memorialize Ronnie, we might as well do everything the way he would want it done, too. Right. You know, it is hard to pick, though, what area. I, I, I see where you, what area. That, I mean, listen, I'm married, and the best-looking woman I know is in my house, my my wife, so it's not hands down. But you try to think of somewhere, and it is kind of hard to pick. You know, you go to Scandinavia or somewhere, and yeah, you walk around, and they're, and they're you know. Yeah. But if you go to a, a nice mall around here, you're probably going to see a lot of good-looking women as well. So, you know, it's yeah. hard. Yeah. It's hard to Ukraine pick the was area. A, Ukraine, we did Ukraine. Ukraine had some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful women. And there were lots of them. Are we in with two at the same time after the show or something? Well, two, two at first, then three joined in. No. <laughs> I haven't been with two in my whole life, period. <laughs> Separate. But if you Only my one. I've been all around the world, and actually the, 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 I found uh, the greatest one in my hometown in San Diego. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Well, that's how it is. Yeah. Oh, same, same with me, right? In Ohio. So. I know. Veronica Freeman. Nope. No? No. Okay. I've never been with two women, ever. Oh, no? I have. I have. Yeah, it's two women? That's so great, man. Unbelievable. It's really cool. Listen, here's the bad thing. Well, you some drummer. Extra, ash, he's even a drummer. He's you need two some women. to rest your ashtray on. No. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, guys, do you want to say something to everybody in South America, Latin America, and Spain? This is for all of them. You well, rock. We can't wait to see you guys. We love you. We're coming at you with all the good hits and all the good stuff, and uh, we're doing this with honor and with heart, and we hope to see you all. Let's, let's and go closer. Rock. Let's come closer, okay, so they can see your faces because they... Yeah. We love you. We, we love you all. We can't wait to see you again. We love you all. You all rock. We're going to be there, and we'll see you all soon. <laughs> My favorite. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we did an interview like my first one of my 